inflation is here. I'm going to go over a few numbers uh, of what's out there, and I'm sure you've been feeling it and seeing it as you've been um, getting gas or buying food or buying any other purchases that you're making or any services. I'm sure you're feeling it and seeing it. Uh, some things are higher than others, but uh, inflation is here, and soon after, there's no way out of this, in my belief. Um, with all the digit creation, currency creation, and money printing, there's, there's no end in sight, and that is going to cause hyperinflation. Uh, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, Argentina, um, Weimar Republic. There, there's many. Uh, just do a little research on uh, Venezuela now and um, Argentina uh, the last, I don't know, couple dozen years. And Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe uh, majorly. Uh, and, and Venezuela is there where Zimbabwe was. But anyways, I'm just going to go a few figures just to say, hey, it's here and take advantage of things now before they get worse. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, just like the cost for corn um, to feed livestock, so corn feed for livestock has increased 200%. Uh, and I'm talking, these numbers are just within the last six months, not even four months. Some of these, some of these are like the last month. But anyway, so it's a real small window, and there's no correction in sight. Um, so we have uh, wood prices have increased 300%, and and some types of wood even more than that. It's it's been amazing, not on a good note. Uh, we have copper costs have increased more than double, uh, over double copper costs, and that's going to continue, in my opinion, because of all the green push for all the electric, the cars and all the electric stuff, and, and they're trying to get rid of um, gas-driven vehicles, I guess, is the biggest thing. And so this push towards electric automation, copper is going to continue to grow, is my opinion. Uh, the steel has increased 150%. We have uh, ingredients uh, and coffee, just your simple basic ingredients, on average, overall, has increased almost 40%. We have oil. Oil is up 80%. And that's, that's, uh, oil's up 80% as I got these figures. We'll say a week ago, this is before this whole deal with the pipe shutdown and the hacking that they're calling it. So now, I'm sure oil's way above 80%. And it's going to continue. Uh, soybeans have increased 75%. I have overall food index. Just the overall food index as a whole has increased. It's up 25%. Just the overall food index is up 25%. Um, those are just a few. There are many more, and I'm sure you've experienced many more out there. And uh, I would say I mean, the good news, the good news that there is, is um, gold and silver are still on clearance. Uh, with all that green push, like I said, with the copper, the, the price, if you want to call it that, of gold and silver has increased over the last six months, um, and even maybe more last year. But they've always been pushed down, manipulated, and they're still on clearance. It, it's amazing. If you look at, like I did a video on this, uh, what gold actual value is, gold versus the currency versus the number of currency units out there, it's so low. It's, it's unbelievable how low it is per ounce. Same with silver. So it's being held down, but it's got to break sometime. You can only keep an animal caged so long until it, it gets that break. And once it, it goes, it's free, it's free. It's not going back. That's my opinion on the, the gold and silver prices. They're both on clearance. And the good news, you can get them. You can still find them. Yes, you're paying a, a markup on them, but it's still very cheap uh, for what they are, for the, for the value of them, really, as a whole. And the food is still available. That's good news. Um, so I would take advantage of that. I know we have taken advantage of that. And, and just buying stuff that you're going to need maybe six months from now, a year from now. Just buy extra because, you know, you got it. It's cheap now. It's not getting cheaper later. 
That's just, I, I can almost guarantee you that. Uh, ammo is still around. It's not around like it used to be, but it's still around. You can still find it, and some places get shipments in. When they do, I try to jump on that, and people that I talk to jump on that, um, not because they're, they're hoarding, but because it's available, they're trying to take advantage of it and buy a couple, you know, rounds here and there, whether it's 9, 40, 45, 22, the whole gamut, 380s, uh, 308, all that stuff. When it's available, you don't have to hoard. You don't have to buy all, but we've been buying a little because it's still available. There may come a time where it's not available, like it's happening in the gas right now, especially on the East Coast and Southern states. So I just want to say, as of now, I feel there's a, there's a, a, a window of opportunity still. It might be small, but it's still open. I would take advantage of that. What does that mean? That means that you're holding these, these fiat bills, the Federal Reserve notes, whether you physically have them or the digits in your accounts, you're holding them. You have them. And what's happening to them? Well, they're losing value. These things are not going up in price. The value of the dollar, the value of the Federal Reserve note is going down. That's what's happening. So the longer you hold that, the more money you are losing. So why not trade that junk currency known as a Federal Reserve note, stuff in your accounts, the stuff in your wallet, trade that for something of real value, something of real use. Because when it, it comes down to it, when stuff hits the fan, and you're scrambling and you need, you need something. You can't eat that paper. You can't eat those digits. And no one else is going to want them from you for their food or for their ammo or for their shelter if the, the value of the Federal Reserve note has officially lost its value like it happens in every hyperinflation scenario ever. Ever. There's not one time that it's been okay. So... I'm just saying there's a small window of opportunity we've been trying to take advantage of. It. If you can't take advantage of it fully, take advantage of it a little bit. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever you can do. That's what you've been trying to do. Just you, you see, you got this $100 bill or this $20 bill or this $10 bill sitting there. And you're like, why? What am I going to do with this? Am I going to blow it? Am I going to waste it on uh, a two cups of coffee, you am going to waste it on, you know, X, Y, Z, or I'm going to at least put this towards some silver or put this towards some food or put this towards something that will have value and that will protect myself and my family, get through times as, as they are starting to get tough. That's just my opinion. But anyways, I, I can't say it, you know, enough. Just, just try to prepare, be alert and be aware. But as always, thank you for watching. Stay vigilant. Uh, protect yourself, protect your family, protect your health, and protect your wealth.